Good evening. You're watching the news on Croatian television. Firefighters managed to put out a fire at a recycling center in Zagreb last night, but they are still keeping a close eye on the scene. The cause of the fire is unknown. The Tios company, which runs the center, suspects the fire was set intentionally. They have released a video showing smoke coming from the other side of the fence that surrounds the facility. One firefighter suffered minor injuries. Damage to the center is relatively minimal, around 3,000 euros. It was immediately clear that this was a serious fire. It may not be as big as the one we had last year, but still big. We alerted all public firefighting units in Zagreb and volunteer departments as well. We had 30 fire trucks and 117 firefighters on the scene. Croatian border police have seized 64 kilograms of marijuana and 5.5 and kilograms of hashish in two separate cases. A 41-year-old Albanian national was caught trying to cross the border between Montenegro and Croatia with the hashish and 23 kilograms of marijuana. In the other case, a 38-year-old Croatian was arrested with around 42 kilograms of marijuana at the border with Bosnia and Herzegovina in Slavonski Brod. Both have been charged with drug trafficking. More than 100 scuba divers from Croatia and abroad took part in an underwater cleanup effort near Trogir. The divers pulled several truckloads of garbage from the sea. They found all kinds of items, tires, beach chairs, bottles, plastic bags, even some refrigerators and car batteries. It's impossible to do a complete cleanup in such a short time, but with more events like these, the sea will be cleaner and we'll get to hang out together more often. We have the most beautiful coast in the world and people take it for granted. I'd really like to urge them to throw away their garbage in the proper bins in front of their homes. The Tesla rally ended today after eight, eight days and one and a half thousand kilometers of racing across Croatia. The rally is unique because it features only electric vehicles. 55 teams from all over Europe started the race in Istria and made their way down the coast to Dalmatia, stopping on several islands along the way before passing through Lika en route to the finish in Zagreb. The winner was Manuel Stromayer of Austria. This rally is a platform for Croatian excellence and technological excellence, given the vehicles and the things we are presenting and promoting. It's not just about driving from point A to point B. We're promoting Croatia as the birthplace of Nikola Tesla. We are promoting electric vehicles, clean energy, healthy living, and organic and high-tech products. Skydivers from 15 countries competed in the World Skydiving Cup in the disciplines of accuracy landing at Rijeka's Grobnik Airport this weekend. The 22 teams performed 1,200 dives during the competition. The winners were mostly professionals, members of the military and police, but also there were quite a few amateur competitors. It was a very difficult jump because uh, there are a lot of turbulence. And it's very tricky today, also yesterday was very tricky, but you know it's for everybody. If you are satisfied or not, not me. <laughs> Football fever is upon us. We are only a few days away from the start of the World Cup in Russia. Croatia plays its first game against Nigeria on Saturday in Kaliningrad. Several thousand Croatian fans will be heading to the game. Most are flying to Russia, but some dedicated fans, like this group of five friends from Zagreb, are making the 1,400-kilometer journey by car. Well, first, it is cheaper, and second, it is much more interesting. We've been to several World Cups before. It was very interesting and a lot of fun. You meet all kinds of people along the way. It's quite an experience. We're heading towards Brno nice and easy. We're taking the highway through Slovenia. Taking a quick look at sports, Dubrovnik's Jug lost their battle for third place in the Water Polo Champions League. Jug was bested by Barceloneta 14-8. The new European champions are Greek side Olympiakos. The weather tomorrow will be mostly sunny and hot. 
There is a chance of some morning fog in the interior. The mountains may see some local cloud development and brief showers. There will be a light northeasterly along the shore in the morning and a west northwesterly during the day. In the north, there may be traces of a southeasterly in the evening. Morning lows will range from 14 to 19 in the interior and from 19 to 22 on the coast. The day's highs will be between 27 and 32 degrees throughout the country. Looking ahead in the week in continental Croatia, it will be mostly sunny on Tuesday. However, moderate clouds will begin to develop in the afternoon, starting in the west, which may bring some afternoon showers. Occasional moderate southwesterly gusts will drive temperatures up further. However, on Wednesday, conditions will become unstable, bringing local showers and thunder showers. Temperatures will drop slightly. On the coast, sunny weather is expected along most of the coast on Tuesday, but there is a chance of local showers in the north, especially in the evening. More unstable weather will set in by midweek, bringing rain and thunder showers. A southeasterly will rise on Tuesday and shift to southwesterly and northwesterly winds on Wednesday. On Thursday, winds will shift to a northeasterly in the north. <laughs> And that brings us to the end of the news. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again tomorrow.